Let's do it. Hello, New Jersey students, parents, counselors. Thank you for being here at our virtual college exploration. And this session is with Delaware Valley. Um, a couple of I housekeeping items. Um, if you want to ask a question, and we hope you will, there's a Q&A button that you should push and then you type in your answer. Your camera and your microphone are off, so there's no way that our uh, presenters will hear you. So the question, the Q&A button is, is critical. Um, you can also, at the end of this presentation, go to njacac.org slash virtual fair, New Jersey um, Association for College Admission Counseling. And there you will find more sessions to sign up for through the end of this week. And also recordings that are available that have been taken already and have been posted. So that, just keep that email address, that URL in, in mind, njacac.org slash virtual fair. I turn you over now to Delaware Valley. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name's Aria Wilburn. I'm the assistant director here at Delaware Valley University. Uh, and just wanted to give a quick intro. I recruit in all of the South Jersey uh, territory and tonight I am presenting with my co-presenter Kaylee Unger and I'll let Kaylee introduce herself just a little bit. Thank you Ariel. I am also one of the admission counselors here at Delaware Valley University. I recruit all of northern New Jersey um, so everything from Hunterdon County, Somerset County and above uh, so we will be here to answer, answer any questions that you might have about DelVal. Perfect. And we're just going to jump right into the presentation. Uh, we're hoping to present for just about 40 minutes, maybe a little under for the evening. Uh, our PowerPoint is going to have a lot of information about Delaware Valley. So please feel free to use the question box, as Kaylee stated. Uh, I'm going to start off with myself presenting and then Kaylee will hop on uh, midway through. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Please, please, please ask any questions that you may have. Just pulling up our screen for the night and we'll get this going. Perfect. So welcome again, Delaware Valley University. Uh, and before I get into much, we're gonna just play a really uh, short video that could give you a bit of a visual of what it looks like uh, once you step on campus. It's a few aerial shots uh, of some hot spots on campus. Welcome to Delaware Valley University. Our campus is located in picturesque Doylestown, Pennsylvania. We are a small private university with just over 1900 undergraduate students. With over 25 undergraduate programs to choose from, you have the ability to explore your interests and flourish. We offer living laboratories across our 550 acres of lush land, whether it be tending to our plants in our greenhouse or designing a website in our media and communications design lab. With programs like E360, you will have the opportunity to participate in internships, study abroad opportunities, and leadership roles. You are not bound to a traditional teacher to student lecture model. You will get your hands dirty by exploring your major through active research and lively academic discourse. Our faculty serve as mentors and provide the framework for you to achieve your goals. Our campus is a place where you can bring your passions and dreams to life while building lifelong friendships with classmates, faculty, and staff members. The DelVal experience brings out the leader in you and molds you into the person you never thought you would become. DelVal is a place where you can dream, design, do. Great, and moving right on. Uh, so as mentioned earlier in that video, we are located in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Doylestown has actually been designated as one of the best small towns to live in America. Uh, and we're within two hours of a drive from uh, major cities like New York City, we're less than 40 minutes away from Philadelphia, give or take, uh, depending on the traffic. 
You also have the Jersey Shore, that's about an hour and a half for our students. And then you have the Pocono Mountains. Uh, and I always like to describe our uh, students' kind of behavior as outdoorsy. They love to uh, be outdoors uh, and sort of get their hands dirty, especially in their off time. Uh, in the school, Delaware Valley itself, we were built on this idea of science with practice. It was our founding uh, motto uh, for the institution. And really what that means for us is this blend of theoretical and practical application when it comes to your studies uh, while you're here at the university. So you'll see a lot of clips uh, throughout this presentation uh, just like this, where students are actively in their field of research and they are doing things uh, that are really helping them bridge the sort of theory and practical uh, part of their academic programs together. Uh, so we try to promise students that when they will get, when they come to DelVal, they're going to have 100% real world learning. Uh, DelVal offers a unique curriculum that combines world-class academics with real-world experience and individualized program of studies, right? So no one student's program looks like the other. Uh, these are just all of our uh, laboratory, experiential laboratories that we have on campus. We have our counseling psychology lab, our biology lab, chemistry, food science, landscape architecture design, media and communication, our small animal science lab, and then our technology labs, uh, which are equipped with both, both Mac and Windows. Uh, so huge sort of range of opportunities uh, for your studies when it comes to our laboratories that we have available. Uh, and again, you'll notice that we have a few snippets in here, uh, just with some student uh, testimonials. We didn't have students on for tonight, but it is really important for you uh, that you hear from our students who are actually attending the classes, they're living on campus, and they're having that full uh, DelVal experience. Hey everyone, my name is Kara Ann, and I'm a horticulture major here at Delaware Valley University. I am graduating this May in 2021. I chose to come to DelVal for its close community atmosphere, as well as its hands-on learning opportunities. This past summer, I was an intern with Burpee Seed Company, and it was because of DelVal and their awesome faculty and staff members that I had the opportunity to broaden my educational horizons within my major. So moving right along here. So one of the uh, uh, programs uh, that we hold uh, very close to our heart here at Delaware Valley University is our program called experience 360 uh, and i'm going to read directly from our slide a little bit but i promise to break it down as we move forward uh, but the 360 program is really designed to prepare students uh, to solve problems and we do so in which we're integrating classroom knowledge and real world experience and again we're blending that theory and practice together uh, it's really designed for to prepare you for work outside of your four years at Del Val. Uh, and we do that in, in two ways. So we have what we call credit bearing and non credit bearing activities. Uh, and it's uh, sort of just how, how it sounds. So there's activities that you're going to participate in and be required to participate in uh, towards your academic program that are going to have credit attached to them. And then there are activities that will go towards your E360 program that's not going to be credited, uh, though it will be rich in the experience. Uh, some examples of those credit bearing activities, uh, very popular study abroad, uh, students going out of the country and kind of taking what they're doing into the classroom and applying that into uh, their field directly uh, wherever they choose to travel. You also have internship and career exploration experiences uh, that we really push uh, for our students to get, again, outside of that classroom and to get that sort of real world knowledge that they can apply um, not only to their academic program, but it really allows you to kind of shape who you want to be and uh, what you want to do once you leave Del Val. Uh, and then last but not least, the student research and student teaching opportunities, which again, kind of carries that same model of, of, of the internship and the study abroad. Uh, it's just us uh, really trying to push students outside 
of uh, the boundaries that the classroom sometimes creates so that you are really sort of um, engaged into your programs uh, and that you really understand the career uh, that you're studying for. Also, non-credit bearing activities include leadership development, civic engagement, and community service. Uh, I can't stress enough how important these programs are, uh, especially given the day and age that our country uh, kind of currently stands in. So it's very uh, sort of modern and appropriate for the times that we live in today. Uh, and then you'll notice that each activity requires you to create uh, sort of your own learning objectives uh, that are going to guide your experience and help you reflect on the experience throughout the semester. Uh, all of the students get E360 advisors, so you'll have someone uh, sort of right by your side helping you determine what that study abroad uh, program should look like, what those internship programs will look like, and then helping you connect those dots uh, to really make that program a success for you. The E360 program uh, has some great examples uh, of students doing their internships. So I just want to play this video so that you get a sense of what kinds of things students are doing. The Experience 360 program prepares students to solve problems. In fact, 100% of our students will gain real-world experience before graduation. Delaware Valley University is one of the few schools to require experiential learning as a part of the curriculum. Our innovative Experience 360 program integrates classroom knowledge with real-world experience, individualized to your major. Throughout your E360 experience, you will use analytical skills to conceptualize your experiences, demonstrate decision-making and problem-solving skills, and gain real-world competencies within your chosen disciplines. These experiences will make you more qualified for the challenges of the 21st century. All right, so just a little bit about that. Uh, and then last but not least, our E360 program is sort of a direct testament to what uh, we mark as our career outcomes. Uh, we're at 94.4%. What that means to you is that 2000, uh, in, in 2019, 94.4% of our graduates graduates are now employed or pursuing additional uh, education. And you'll notice that this statistic itself has increased uh, each of the last five years after the launch of the 360 program. Uh, so again, uh, those numbers are numbers we are very proud of. We want our students to be uh, very sure of themselves that when they do complete their education at Del Val, uh, with, with their hard work and dedication, they can find gainful employment and uh, they will have those opportunities to go on uh, to, con to continue their education while they're, uh, once they leave the university. Our academic programs themselves are broken down into uh, three different schools. We have a fourth school, but that is uh, sort of dedicated to our graduate programs and continuing studies. Uh, so our first school is our School of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences. And of course, here you can see all of the programs that sort of break out under that uh, that school itself. So the schools, uh, the programs that are in yellow are sort of the majors, and then these are the concentrations that you can study under those major programs. Uh, so it's listed like this on our website as well, which I always encourage students to uh, browse through our website and click through uh, the programs that you think you want to study, especially if you're still undecided. It'll really give you a great snapshot into the learning objectives, the courses that are involved with that program, as well as uh, some of the E360 experiences students have had in those programs. Uh, and this second school that we have up here is our School of Life and Physical Sciences. So again, you'll see uh, the programs in yellow and then sort of the breakouts of what concentrations uh, will, fit, will uh, go with that program itself. And then last but not least, we have our School of Business and Humanities, which again, you have uh, the yellow and white sort of coded breakdown. So definitely an area I always recommend our students uh, explore more on our website uh, and, and uh, definitely uh, take your time when you're going through them if you're on that undecided sort of curve. Uh, next coming up, we have 
just a breakdown of our four plus one program. So you have an opportunity to graduate with your bachelor and master's degree in five years across these six programs. So you'll see agribusiness management, an MBA, healthcare administration, management and organizational leadership, public policy, and criminal justice. If you choose, uh, say for instance, to do criminal justice as an undergraduate uh, program, that is one of the programs that qualifies for the four plus one option. That allows you to leave uh, in five years with your master's degree, not only that, uh, but your final year of undergrad, you actually start taking master classes, but you're still paying undergrad prices. So it's the best way uh, to get the uh, best bang for your buck if you're planning to go into any of these graduate programs. Uh, and our students definitely enjoy taking advantage of those, uh, those sort of programs. Hi everyone, my name is Susanna. I'm a student here at Delaware Valley University. I'm majoring in business management, graduating in May 2021. I'm also enrolling in 4 plus 1 program that allows me to work towards my MBA degree. Since sophomore year, I work here on campus as a resident assistant. I'm also a supplemental instructor for college algebra. And I came here all the way from Poland. Thanks to Copernicus Foundation and coming here was one of the best decisions I've made in my life and I'm proud to be an Aggie. That's great. Uh, and this is just a class profile for the 2020 incoming class that we just kind of welcomed to campus. Uh, the class size, we had 440 students uh, and geographically, we have uh, mostly students come from our regional areas. So we have students that come from PA uh, at about 52%, and then our students who come from New Jersey at 30%, and then you'll see Maryland and all other states listed there as well. Uh, also important to note that 85% of our first year students live on campus. Uh, so it does uh, give you the opportunity to really be uh, sort of engulfed with your peers. Uh, and then this is just a list of some of our most popular programs that we always encourage uh, students to check out. Animal science being at the top, biology, our business administration, conservation and wildlife management, criminal justice, and counseling psychology. So part of what we always uh, try to uh, sort of counsel students on is that Delaware Valley is a small university. Uh, you're going to have small class sizes. Your instructors are going to know who you are. Uh, so I know some folks may see that number and think, wow, my high school uh, has that same number of students uh, as, our, as that is our incoming uh, profile. Uh, but I think you really have to start to understand what kind of learner you are uh, to know uh, what, whether or not the size of our university will be a good fit. The Residence Life uh, Program uh, here at Del Val, again, 85% of our students live on campus. Uh, this is largely in part to our residency requirement. For the first two years that students attend Del Val, we do require students who live outside of a 25 mile radius to live on campus. We found that to be the most impactful uh, sort of philosophy going forward as it really helps students to be engaged on, in campus life and things that are happening on campus, which in turn helps you be a more successful student. Uh, so we do have mixed class housing, we have mixed gender floors, we have pet friendly housing, uh, that's typically uh, first come first serve once our uh, upperclassmen get a hand at it. So freshmen are, are encouraged to apply for pet friendly housing. It's just not guaranteed uh, in your freshman year. Uh, we also have uh, agricultural interest floor for our ag students, 24-7 uh, dining hall. Uh, so it's open around the clock and we really found that uh, one of the biggest complaints for college students was access to food. Uh, so we wanted to eliminate that completely with our 24-7 dining. Uh, you also have another option on campus to go for food um, and that's uh, sort of a place where you can order food to go. So you'll inevitably get tired of uh, the Levin dining hall. 
Uh, and also don't forget about places off campus. Doylestown is about a five minute drive into the downtown area. It's not far at all. It's a 20 minute walk, a nice walk on a good day. Um, so you have sort of endless options for food. Uh, and then also we have uh, two Starbucks kiosks that uh, live on our campus. And I just wanna play another video for you. This is our uh, sort of shot in our residence hall. As you will see, this is one of the rooms in Yulman Hall. Each student will be given a twin XL bed. They can lower and they can also uh, be raised. And this will fit um, at least three storage bins high underneath. So you can see both students, they have their uh, beds raised and that will allow for extra storage. So this student actually has a step stool. It is recommended because it does get pretty high. Otherwise, if you don't want the underneath storage, you can go ahead and lower the bed as well. We also have desks that will be in the room for each student. You can decorate how you'd like. And each student will also be given a chair for their desk. In Yeoman specifically, uh, you do not have a wardrobe. It's actually a built-in closet. So if you click this green button, you will see built-in closets also include a hanging bar and a top shelf for storage. Um, and like I said before, you do have cable inside of your room. So if you'd like to bring a TV, you're more than welcome to. Uh, and then this is our micro fridge. So as you can see, it's a mini fridge and microwave combo. Um, and there's a little entryway before you get to the door. Each student will be given a key for their door. And uh, to get into your residence hall, a DelVal ID is required for entry. Awesome, so just a little snapshot into our dorms. Uh, also want to point out our campus resources, last but not least. Uh, we do have a student professional development office as well as our student advising and academic success. That office is gonna be important to you because those folks are really gonna guide you from the uh, beginning to the end uh, when you're at DelVal. Also our health wellness and counseling center, uh, our learning support and disability services is a part of our campus resources uh, as well as our peer mentoring tutor center and writing center. Uh, and one of the things we really pride ourselves on is just making sure our students are active on campus. I can't stress enough how important it is that you get involved when you're here. Uh, that's really what's going to shape your experience. That's where you're going to build your lifelong friendships. Uh, and that's where you're really going to start to understand who you are and the kind of things that you're into. Uh, we have over 70 clubs and organizations for you to choose from when you're on campus. Uh, and uh, that idea of discovering your interest outside of the classroom rings true for a lot of our uh, clubs and organizations. If you go on our website, there's a full list of every club and organization that we have uh, sort of available to our students. And if there's a club there that doesn't exist uh, there, please know that you can create that club once you get to the university. Uh, we have Greek life and honor societies, any major specific and career related. Uh, we have hobbies and interests including recreational and intramural sports. Uh, and then sort of continued. Uh, these are just some examples of the clubs we have on campus. Uh, so represented here, we have our Minority Relations Council, our American Association of University Women, our Black Student Union, our gay, lesbian, or whatever, also known as Glow Club, and then our Students for Diversity. Kaylee, are you uh, ready to go? I am. Thank you so much, Ariel. No problem. I can uh, click the screen forward for you if you'd like, or if you want me to stop sharing and switch it over. I think you can give me remote control. Um, I just approve. Good to go. Um, all right. I have to, I think you have to pull back up the sweat. Yeah, I took it down for me. Got it? Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All righty. So we are going to move on to, oh, where'd it go? Started us all over. 
Sorry about that. I'm just going to click you down to athletics. Perfect. It's my hold music. <laughs> Great elevator music. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, awesome. So we are a part of just moving on to athletics now. Um, another area that you can be involved in on campus. We are NCAA Division III Athletics. So we are a part of the MAC Conference, also known as Middle Atlantic. Uh, we do offer 22 intercollegiate sports. So you'll see from here, uh, we have our men's sports that will range from bas uh, baseball, basketball, football, lacrosse, track and field, both indoor and outdoor, uh, wrestling. We also do have women's wrestling. So you'll see on our long list of women's sports. Um, and we do have a co-ed sport, which will consist of our equestrian team, both dressage and hunt seat. Now um, we do have a Western team, though that does not fall under NCAA, that will be a club sport. Um, some of the features that we do offer for our students um, we have an on-campus gym facility and weight room, which is actually located right across from our Levin Dining Hall, um, which is 24 hours all you can eat. So it's really great that the gym is just right across. Um, you can go eat your ice cream and then go right into the gym. Um, we do have uh, practice and sport fields, um, performance fields as well. Uh, we have our James Work uh, field and stadium. Uh, so our football players, our lacrosse players, and a few other sports will actually practice on there. And obviously the football games will occur on there, which is a great event uh, for students to come out to support uh, the Aggies. And then we do have athletic training and sports, uh, medicine service offices, um, as well as in equestrian riding center and ring. So we have our dressage ring, um, both an indoor and outdoor ring. Um, and then our students will compete there, um, whether they're on the IHSA team or some students will use that actually for classes. So I'm going to just click through some of the pictures here so you can kind of have some insight of what it's like to be an athlete. And I want to emphasize that uh, these students are student athletes. So coaches really understand that they are here for academics, that their academics uh, do come first, but they still want them to be involved and enjoy uh, the sport that they love. So just like I said, clicking through um, some pictures. So football games, like I said before, uh, very big to be a part of um, going and attending on the weekends with you and your friends. Uh, this is our um, equestrian center. So we do, like I said, have the outdoor ring, uh, field hockey, we have baseball, the men's wrestling, and then uh, women's volleyball, and then track and field. I think that is. And then um, this is just a snapshot of our weight room. And then this is just a video um, of uh, some of our athletics that I will play for you guys. We have uh, 22 Collegiate Division III uh, teams here. We have all Americans in all of our sports we play here. And specifically, our football team is uh, very prestigious. We're in the top 25 of Division III football teams in the nation. We're very good, we hit hard, and we love winning. It gets the community out here, it gets the students out here. Everybody enjoys participating in sports. Um, so it's really nice, even if you actually aren't on the team, to actually go out and support those people that you might have had classes with, or you might be roommates with, or you might just live with in your hall too. Our field is uh, brand new. Our alumni are really focused on catering to us. So they donate a lot of stuff. I mean, we get new weights. We just got new treadmills and new uh, other facilities around the school. And our locker rooms are kept, you know, very neat. Delaval has intramural sports on campus. I, for instance, have played in the basketball program and in the volleyball program. They get so much from their coaches and the administration. I think our athletic department, the support we offer and the coaches we hire give our student athletes an experience that maybe another student wouldn't get at another university. So we take great pride in being an Aggie and being here at Delval. So as one of the uh, young ladies said, uh, whether it's your roommate, whether you are a part of a sport yourself, everyone is going out um, to support one, of the, one another. Um, that's the kind of community that it is at Delval. 
Um, so investing in your future, I know this is one of the top questions um, that students, especially parents might have. So we are a private institution, which means there is no in or out of state. So we have um, our base tuition price, our fees, room and board. Um, so it comes out to be uh, direct costs as about 56000 and some change. Um, now, I always like to tell students that's kind of a sticker price. Um, it's kind of like buying a car. No one will ever pay that amount. Um, we do offer merit scholarships to all of our students, and that will be 14, 17, 21, 22, or $25,000. 100% of our students will receive a merit scholarship and that will be based on your high school GPA. Uh, so the transcript that your guidance counselor will be sending in as well as your test scores, ACT or SAT, if you chose to take them. Uh, we understand right now may have been a little bit of a difficult challenge uh, for you guys to be able to take those SATs and ACTs. A lot of you have not been able to. Uh, so we are fully test optional for upcoming um, 2021 applicants. I'm um, gonna talk a little bit further about that, um, but just know that you will be given a merit scholarship based on your high school GPA and or uh, test scores if you choose to submit them. So just continuing on, um, investing in your future, uh, there is FAFSA. So as Ariel always likes to say, um, if you are paying for FAFSA, you are on the wrong website. Um, it is a free application. That's what FAFSA stands for, free application for federal student aid. So it's FAFSA.gov. Um, it, like I said, if you are, um, Ariel's famous words, if you are paying, you are on the wrong website. So just, just make uh, yourself cognizant of that. We do have our own DelVal school code. This will ensure that all of your information is sent over to our financial aid office. So we are able to generate a financial aid package for you. Um, there's additional financing options outside of your standard financial aid package, uh, which can include outside scholarships um, through local organizations. A lot of the time, uh, local fire departments or uh, police departments will offer scholarships to students, um, rising high school seniors or even juniors. Um, there's fastweb.com, scholarshipowl.com, and then Scholly is an app. So I like to say that it's a little bit like online, online shopping where you are able to filter it um, based on your academic um, needs, your hobbies, your interests, um, and then you'll be able to filter through, see what you are eligible for and apply um, as you can. There also is the student employment program. Um, so that's separate from federal work study student employment. That is money paid to you through the university. You can choose uh, what you want to do with the money, whether you uh, put it towards books or you want to go out into Doylestown, um, go to dinner with one of your friends. Uh, you could be a campus ambassador, which is a tour guide. You could work through athletics. You could work through um, financial aid. There are plenty of opportunities for students to work on campus or even down at the South uh, campus equestrian center, the uh, breeding center, or even some of uh, the other livestock facilities. We also honor the yellow ribbon program for one dependent, um, and you are eligible to set up a payment plan with the Bursar's office, so you are not paying your out-of-pocket costs uh, all at one time. What is in your financial aid package? So like I said before, your merit scholarship, uh, any needs-based grants. Um, so you uh, were speaking to New Jersey, uh, so you will not be eligible for a PA state grant, which is the FIA grant, um, but we do have other, other fe federal grants um, available to students such as Pell, SCOG. We also have DelVal grants. Um, and like I said, federal work study is different than student employment. That is money paid to you through the government that will then be put back uh, towards your tuition. Again, you can still have the same job of working as a campus tour guide, working at any of the livestock facilities, uh, working in biology or chemistry labs. Um, we will have a fair available for students who are eligible for work study um, to be able to meet the different departments and kind of rank where you want to work. Um, there are also loans that are going to be eligible to students. Um, so whether it be the subsidized or um, unsubsidized loans. So getting started and applying, um, if you are a high school senior, our application is open. It is also free to apply. Uh, so we have our own DelVal application. It's delval.edu slash apply. Or we are also on the Common application. We are free to apply through the Common app as well. So you'll just search for Delaware Valley University um, and we will be on there. Like I said, we are test optional for our 2021 uh, applicants. So you are not required to submit your SAT or ACT scores. Um, it's recommended, but it's not required. 
Additional information that we are looking for, we are looking for an admission essay. So it's really anything that you want your admission counselor to know about you. So as Ariel said before, she covers central and southern New Jersey counties and I cover all of northern New Jersey counties. So you'll be working with uh, one of us depending where you live um, and we will be the ones reading your um, application as well as any additional material. So your admission essay. Um, letter of recommendation, we always uh, want you to submit at least one. Um, I always recommend submitting two. I like uh, to see two different perspectives on the student, whether it be from a coach, um, a guidance counselor, a teacher, um, if you have a job outside of school or if you're a part of any clubs or organizations and you have an advisor, um, really other than uh, mom and dad and grandma, we don't wanna see uh, letters of recommendation from those. Um, any extracurricular activities, so submitting a short uh, resume, um, just so we can really get to know you, see what you're involved in, um, and then we can also um, get you information for some clubs that are on campus, um, just seeing kind of your current interests. Um, we are on a rolling admission process, and our current turnaround time for applications are about two to three weeks. Um, so if you don't hear from us, if you apply and you don't hear from us in about two to three weeks, just follow up with um, either Ariel or I. That way we can make sure, um, check the status on your application. Maybe we didn't receive your test scores. Maybe we uh, didn't receive um, your transcript. So attending an admission event. So we do have a fall open house. It is a virtual event coming up this Sunday, October 11th. Um, so you can register on delval.edu slash visit. Um, we also have an on-campus open house coming up on November 7th, um, which is a Saturday. So we hope you can attend. We also offer on-campus visits every day, uh, Monday through Friday, except for Wednesday. And we also have Saturday visits um, that are available to sign up for. So you can sign up for October and November weekdays. Um, I'm not sure if we released our Saturday visit days yet, uh, but that will be available to you um, if you will want a uh, ambassador led campus tour, as well as an info session with one of our admission counselors at DelVal. So like I said, you can visit delval.edu slash visit, um, which you'll be able to see all of our visit options. We also have one-on-one, -on -one, so you can meet with uh, if Ariel's your counselor, you can request a one-on-one -on -one with her. Um, so you can meet with her individually and ask any other questions that you might have. Or uh, for myself, um, the same goes for that. So let's stay connected. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Our handle is Del Val Admission. So please do stay up to date. Um, we are always posting something, whether it be updates about um, the application, other um, recruitment events that we might have on campus. So really do stay in touch with us. Um, and we also will offer live campus tours uh, through the Instagram live, through the Facebook live, um, and then really some Q&A sessions with some of our ambassadors. And this is our QR code, though you don't need to use it because your information was already um, given to us when you signed up for the Najak Act. Um, and I think, oh, these are all of the counselors. So like I said, you only need to worry about Ariel and I. Um, so we are down here, um, the second and third in on the bottom row. So like I said before, Ariel covers everything, uh, Mercer, Monmouth, Middlesex and below. I cover everything from Huntington County and Somerset County and above. Um, so you can uh, call us, email us, um, really any questions that you have, please follow up. And I think that is it. So I don't know if you have any questions in the chat, Ariel, um, or if anyone does have any questions that they want to ask with the few minutes that we do have left. No, I do not see any questions. Yeah, questions, questions are most certainly open. So please feel free to type any questions in that you may have. Uh, and we will get those answered for you before our time is over tonight. All right. Right. Sometimes no news is good news, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to share my screen again. And say to uh, all of you that were out there 
thank you so much for joining us and for joining DelVal and in their um, presentation about their college, about their university. There's a very quick survey at the end of this, four questions. We hope you will give us your feedback. And don't forget, you can sign up for more sessions that are going on through the end of this week, as well as looking at recordings that have been made by going to NJ acac.org slash virtual fair. Thank you, Del Val. Nice Thank you. Bye. Have a great night. You too.